Though it is strange to imagine, we humans have explored only a limited amount of our planet's oceans and seas. To be exact, we have explored less than 5% of the ocean. Therefore, experts have yet to understand just how many creatures lurk in the depths of this underwater world. Living on a planet that is covered by water, 71% in fact, leaves the possibility for the wildest of underwater creations. The difference in environment between the sea and land already creates unimaginable differences in the species of Earth. Therefore, within the alien world of the deep blue depths of the ocean, it is possible that experts will find something entirely different than any other species, either from the land or that which is already known of the sea. Though little is known about the undiscovered parts of the sea, experts have been able to calculate just how deep the oceans are. The deepest region is the Challenger Deep, located beneath the Western Pacific Ocean in the southern end of the Mariana Trench which runs several kilometers southwest of the U.S. territorial island of Guam. Challenger Deep is an unyielding 36,200 feet deep. Interestingly, the name of this area of ocean was coined after the HMS Challenger, whose crew first sounded the depths of the trench in 1875. Anything below 200 meters is classified as the deep sea but the average depth of the ocean as a whole is only 3.5 kilometers. In order to understand more about the dark depths of the ocean, scientists have named zones as the sea deepens. Depths from the surface to 0.2 meters are classified as the littoral zone. From 0.2 kilometers to 3 kilometers is the bathal zone and from 3 kilometers to 6 kilometers is the abyssal zone. In homage to the Greek god of the underworld, anything further than the previous categories is known as the Hadal zone. This is appropriate. The environment that mysterious creatures thrive in are rarely witnessed by experts, and their appearance is usually due to the very different environment that is created due to the higher proximity to the sun. Creatures such as the vampire squid, which thrives in the dark deep seas that reach 3,000 meters, and the Pacific viper fish, who, at 4,400 meters, possesses large, needle-like teeth that are so long that the viper fish is unable to close its mouth. Stranger still are creatures such as barrel eye fish, termed so due to their barrel shaped eyes. But that's not all. Unlike any other being in the sea, this fish possesses a transparent head which allows the barrel fish to move its eye around more so as to hunt effectively in a more advanced manner. The dragonfish hunts using bioluminescence that lures unsuspecting fish to their demise. Interestingly, this fish uses a barbell that is attached to its lower jaw and extends from its body flashing along with the rest of the fish to extend its reach. Impressively dangerous teeth aren't what all deep-sea predators have in their arsenal. The Northern Stargazer, though its name sounds poetic, is most definitely a ferocious predator. But his tactics are different than some of the others mentioned above. This fish buries itself in the ocean floor, sending electric jolts that stun his unsuspecting prey that are unable to defend themselves from its jaws. One creature has worked out that possessing electricity or dangerous teeth is all that. The tongue-eating louse, 
is perhaps one of the most ruthless creatures that have ever been discovered to occupy the deep sea. By entering into the fish via its gills, this underwater parasite changes gender and attaches itself on the tongue of a fish, sucking its blood until its tongue eventually falls off. But the depths of our seas and oceans also play host to some of the oldest species on our Earth, creatures that have lived through the centuries. Among these more elderly species, the goblin shark is perhaps one of the most fascinating of the sharks. Described as a living fossil, only two have ever been found in the U.S. It is hard to understand how species so alien to their cousins, who live just a couple of meters above, could exist within the same environment. But that's where we need to be reminded. Just because it's all within the ocean, that does not equate to the same environment. At 4,000 meters, the pressure in the atmosphere below is equal to 398 kilograms on a single fingernail. This immense pressure is a dramatic increase from the 1,000 meter marks pressure of 101 kilograms, which is also the maximum depth of sunlight penetration. Only time can tell what lies within the deep blue depths of the ocean, and it might be that we humans never truly explore the whole of the deep. If what we have discovered so far is anything to go by, scientists and the general public are in for a shock, as these creatures will potentially look closer to imaginations of extraterrestrial life. One thing is certain, deep sea creatures live with us. And as our technological abilities increase, we shall become even closer to our underwater neighbors. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and share on Facebook.